Hey everybody, welcome to The Crit House. I'm Jeff Larson. So this is not a review episode, which we normally do here on The Crit House. It's, uh, it's just me this time. A um, couple things that have been on my mind and I thought I would ramble on for a bit, um, if that's all right with you. I won't take long, I promise. Um, so just very quickly, we've been on, on the air here on YouTube for two, three months right now. And, um, you know, we're still pretty small, but we've been growing. We're getting now close to 700 uh, subscribers, which um, is not huge, but it's, it's heartening that we have had uh, such, uh, such support. Um, and what really has been heartening to me is, is the support from the photographic community. I mean, if you look back at uh, the participants in this program from Iberian X Perillo and Sean Tucker and Alex Kilby, Phil Penman, one of the great uh, street photographers, Thomas Jackson, um, just a, an amazing installation artist, Jane Zabo, Ellen Friedlander, and some people I'm not even mentioning, Juan and Edward. Um, uh, yeah, so, so close to 700 subscribers, and we just had uh, tremendous support. Um, and, and, you know, here's the thing. I, I'm not a professional photographer. I, I'm an amateur. I'm proudly an amateur. I will, I will never be a professional photographer. Um, but what I am is somebody who's really interested in learning. And for me, this program, The Crit House, is, is an education um, that I'm hoping to give to myself so that I can be a better photographer. Um, I've said it before, but this, I set up this program because I wanted to learn some things and talk to people and hear about, um, what they think of photography and I wasn't seeing it on YouTube. So, um, here, here, here we are, we're putting it out there and, um, trying to make it available for other people. And, and thank, thank you all for watching and for your support. It's, uh, it's certainly greatly appreciated. We've got some really interesting things coming up in the coming weeks with some new partnerships. We'll be doing some, uh, some interesting things with documentary and, uh, and, uh, and a blog or two. And, um, and so I'm very excited about what, uh, what is coming up. We'll be doing books as well. So if you're actually in the process of publishing a book, um, let me know because we might have some interesting things to, uh, to talk about with regard to a project you're working on. Um, our website, by the way, has a page where you can register to participate in the Crit House. Um, I'll put that up here so you can see how to get to that. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about a little bit today is that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to an opening here at the Leica Gallery in Boston for the uh, Sebastio Salgado uh, show that has recently been put up uh, in downtown Boston. It's up there now. Um, and it's for this massive project. Um, this is, look at the size of this thing. So this is uh, Sebastio Salgado's uh, amazing book, uh, Genesis, which um, is a brilliant piece of work. And I, I mean, I have to say, um, I had a very brief moment where I was able to say hello to Mr. Salgado. And um, it is not often in, in my life that I am, uh, I am starstruck. Um, this, is, this was an occasion where I was fumbling for something to say and worried about how I was going to say it. Um, I, I worked in media for a long period of time. I met a lot of people. I met you know, some of the great athletes and politicians and uh, wicked rich people and famous people. And, and, and for, for the most part, I was not, uh, not uh, uh, starstruck with much of it. Um, but with Mr. Salgado, who in my mind is one of the all-time great photographers, certainly one of the top living photographers, um, I, uh, I was, I was smitten, I have to say. Um, so anyway, but what, uh, the reason I'm, I'm bringing that up because it made me think about a couple of things with regard to what we're doing here at the Crit House, um, and Mr. Salgado. Um, he has, uh, clearly been a successful human being. You know, he started off, um, in a different field, moved over for, to photography and has just done great work. Um, but when I... Uh, was 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 there with him at this event, and he he had minders, gallerists, editors, the people who had put the show together. There was a whole team of people that was with Mr. Salgado for what is a great show. Um, it it reiterated to me that he is not doing the work that he's doing alone, and and that's 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 why. That's why we're here on the Crit House, is to make people understand that um, having support and having community and having people who can look at your work and give honest and critical feedback is, is so important. 
you know, uh, Sebastian did not, he did not edit the show that was put up at the Leica Gallery. I met, I met the person, the woman who, uh, who did the show, and she was tickled pink and proud and very happy, and she did a great job with it. Um, but at, at the level that I'm at as a photographer, as an amateur, if I'm going to do the show, the chances are I'm going to be doing the editing. Um, and when, when, so one <laughs> quick story. So when, when Sebastian was, uh, at, uh, the Leica gallery, I was presumptuous and I took, I took my little book that I had published uh, a couple of years ago now, and I gave it to him because I thought how, how great to have one of the greatest photographers ever possibly look at my book. Um, I have no idea whether he did. I'm pretty sure it ended up in a, uh, in a bin at the Leica gallery. But, but at any rate, it just it, it tickled me. So I wanted him to ha at least have the opportunity to ha and maybe think about it. Um, but when I did my book, um, in general, it was me making the decisions about things. I certainly consulted with a lot of people, um, some very good people who gave me feedback on things. So I'm not saying I did it alone. Uh, Meg and uh, all of you people out there just were incredibly helpful, including my own crit group that I work with. Um, they gave me tremendous uh, support and input to get it to where it needed to be. But again, it, it just made me realize that um, Sebastian Salgado, one of the all-time great living photographers, um, great, great photographers, period, let alone a living photographer, has a whole team of people supporting him, helping him make decisions, advising him on which directions to go, giving him uh, understanding and context for what the work means um, and what each individual means to make decisions about layout, about um, where he's going to go, to you know, put him into the right place where the pictures are going to be. That's, the rest of us don't have that for the most part. And so, so that, it just it reiterated for me, and I just wanted to come back here and say, that's what we're doing on the Crit House. We're taking a little piece of that. We're taking this piece where we say to you, hey, let's take a look at your work and let's give you some feedback on what we're seeing so that you can take it back and maybe go to the next step and make it a little bit better. Um, and for those of you who aren't necessarily showing your work here on the Crit House, and I'm sure that there are, I know that there are a lot of you because we're having tens of thousands of viewers, um, it's, it's your opportunity to be able to listen to other people talk about photography and not just photographs. You know, we're not, we're not talking about a single photograph. We're not talking about how you might edit and process, you know, that particular image to crop it. We're talking about a body of work, how it comes together, that has meaning and tells stories, and how you can parse that out and try to get information um, out of your own work that you may not necessarily have seen um, when you look at it as a, as a body and as a group. Um, so anyway, so the, um, I just, I want, I want to plug this book again. If you have the chance to get it, um, amazing uh, amazing book, Genesis by Selga Sebastian Salgado. Um, uh, it's a little bit pricey, but uh, it was my birthday, so my partner she bought me uh, she bought the book for me, <laughs> which <laughs> which was very kind of her, and I thank her very much. Um, thank you for watching the Crit House. Uh, I, it's uh, it's been a pleasure to do, and I'm looking forward to doing it in the future. Um, I always encourage you through uh, the comments uh, in on YouTube. Let us know what you think. Let us know what we should be doing that we're not doing because criticism and comment and feedback is important for this program as it is for photography as well. Um, I'm going to link to some very important video that I'm sure will be uh, excellent for you to watch <laughs> right here. And uh, we will see you next time where we're going to be doing some documentary stuff. It's going to be good. Keep coming back to the Crit House. Thanks so much.